Well, Fox 5 News alerts chilling new video from police showing what they describe as a rapist luring his victim straight into danger. This new piece of evidence comes as a local community demands something be done. Tonight's East Point residents met with police about a dangerous predator walking their streets. Well, Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz was there for that meeting. And Jacqueline, what is the latest in the investigation? Well, police told neighbors that they're doing everything in their power to try to find this man. They handed out sketches of the suspect. They told neighbors that they're stepping up patrols and they believe that this rape suspect lives very close by to where the attack happened. If you would bring justice and bring him forth. Prayers for the victim of a brutal and violent rape and for this man to finally get caught. That's scary because we don't know where he is. He could be next door to me. Well, I've been calling and checking on them to make sure they're okay. The East Point neighborhood around the scene of the crime, terrified. City officials called for the community to meet with East Point police. Who wouldn't be uneasy under these circumstances? The fact is a horrible um, situation has happened. And this is one of the worst things that I've heard us going in this community. Police release new surveillance in this ordeal and say it shows the wanted man leading his victim around Kip South Fulton Academy on East Washington Avenue. Police say she had asked him for directions to Hapeville and he offered to show her the way, but say he led the woman by the abandoned Washington Circle apartments down the street and beat and raped her. And I pray that she does well and heal from this. We always let the dogs out when we go out with the dogs. It's hard to sneak up on a dog. Neighbors say they're doing what they can to stay safe. Police say they've stepped up patrols around the apartments and believe he stays very close by. Neighbors tell me this complex has been a safety concern for years and say there's always criminal activity around. I'm really surprised nothing like this haven't happened before. And who knows, it might have, and we just don't know about it. And police say that this man is six feet in height with braids and a goatee, and he may possibly be homeless. Coming up, all new on News Edge at 11, we're going to tell you how neighbors are trying to address the issue of this abandoned apartment complex with city officials and why they say it's so dangerous in their community. But for now, reporting live in East Point, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you, Jacqueline.